Hey guys, it's Erica. We are gonna be checking out Drippin' Zero. I'm so excited for this. Villain was so good. Oh my god. And I think this is a little bit maybe like a continuation of it because Spotify says that it's um the second single album Villain Zero and the one and the other one was just like the third mini album villain. So I think it's like a continuation of the concept or or something like that. I don't know, I guess. I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. Um but I'm overall very, very excited to be checking this out because Drippin' always gives us quality, okay? Top tier quality type of stuff, okay? Don't gotta be groundbreaking, don't gotta be revolutionary, girl. All we like is quality over here, okay? Um but I'm very excited to be checking this out, so you know what it like go. That's a similar intro, but I don't think the same. What's happening? Uh, oh, are we gonna rock out? I can be zero, I can be one. I can be zero, oh, I can be one. Yeah, I can be zero, I can be one. I can be zero, oh, I can be one. Yo, the silhouette, dancing, with that warm light, everything. Oh, they are oppressed. They're gonna break out, aren't they? Oh, fun editing. I mean, this is different for anything from kind of Woolim or, or them. Okay, break it down, pre chorus. It's giving EXO Lucky One, but Monster. Lizard? Fun editing. Ooh! Wait, so did it start with the hook? I thought that was- we started with the chord. I don't know song structure anymore these days. Good so is that interesting? Because I feel like with Valen, you would think like a darker concept, but visually it wasn't that darker. The sound wasn't as hard, but this one, the sounds harder. But it's kind of a brighter music video, more colorful. Oh, he got the T-Virus. Okay. Yo, fire. I can't wait to check out this dance break. Let's call the graffiti. looks super dope. Break it down. Let the babies save the babies. Or is it them? Ask kids and they got captured. That ain't really dope. Villain, isn't it? Yeah, so this is like a prequel to Villain. I get it now. I get it now, girl. You can't play with me. Um, I really loved it. Again, like, um, I kind of was it like this sound from like Woolen, like girl, what? Like, girl, what? Like, okay, we'll change it up, change me a little bit more edgy. I I um just because I don't know, they have like their thing, you know what I mean? And 
I mean, Infinite always did their type of thing, you know what I mean? Um, so it's very interesting to get like this concept and, well not the concept, but like the sound itself, it goes a lot harder. They lean into that, like if they went into the rock thing, I would have thought they would have gone like the more poppy punk route. But okay, we can go harder, we can go harder, I love it. Um, if you like this, you'd probably like Blitzer's, um, what's the name, what their most recent comeback, what was it, and stuff. Bobbin, Bobbin, that one was really, really dope. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it, I like it. Again, you know, they're just sort of, they got the powers or whatever, they're locked up in the facility, then they break out there in the end. Nice little storyline, nice way to tie it into um, villain. And I thought it was really cool to get like a prequel like that. I wasn't like expecting that at all, but it was really, really dope. Uh, choreography looked really nice, can't wait to ever look at that. They're, they're, they're really nice with that choreography. Music video was well shot throughout. Um, again, I was just sort of like, oh, it's kind of like brighter and colorful, but we're kind of going for like a harder sound. Uh, but definitely there at the end when they sort of like break out and everything everything sort of makes sense and how it ties in a villain it's just interesting because villain doesn't it's not like a darker concept you know what i mean but <laughs> it was kind of darker than villain was i'm just like it's but it's a prequel so i'm just like i don't know <laughs> I'm like the guy with the whiteboard connected the dots like here we are like um but yeah but it was really really cool and that was really um cool to get and stuff and I like how again the intro I think was similar to the 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 intro for um villain the, the title card opening um but I think it was a little bit different and stuff so that's also really cool to get to as well um but man, I overall really enjoyed it. They killed it. They had the broke, the breakdown with the smooth vocals, the bridge, the pre-courses, girl, in my feels. I really, really enjoyed it. I think the concept was really, really cool and stuff. And I was wondering if they were going to go for like a, 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 a different type of concept um, or sound wise based off what like villain was. Because I'm just like, it's not a crazier sound and it's like visually it's not super duper dark. So I wonder if it's just having a concept of villain is going to ease them into like a different type of uh, concept. And I guess it really did. So I overall really enjoyed it. I loved it. I love how it plays with the previous um, concept and everything about it. I thought it was absolutely wonderful. Once again, they do it once again. Go to put your thoughts and comments down below to about Drip and Zero. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you like me and want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me, social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or description down below at the end screen. Share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Baby, I got the power. Not a woman, not a bullshit. I'm the villain, the villain.